everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I had the idea to make a letter shaped gift box. I was actually looking through the, I can't remember the issue, but it's the magazine where I made the Mother's Day. Um, I just decorated the letter M. I painted it and just put some um, pretty florals on it. It was for Simply Cards and Papercraft magazine. And I saw that and I thought that'd be really nice if it was a gift box. And I put this one together. So inside you have your little opening here and it is filled with... 200 gram box of the Lindor this one's strawberries and cream and it fits a whole box in there you could probably get a little bit more in there as well if you wanted but once you see how I do this it's very easy I think for you to do other letters obviously personalize it but the M's going to work really well for Christmas as well because you can have Merry Christmas on there but this is going to sit in the hamper that I'm putting together and I just thought it was a really nice way to just personalize that gift and yeah just a really fun project something different and very easy to do as well so I hope you enjoy this one. So let's get started. So first of all, you want to cut yourself two pieces of six by six and we're going to create the letter. So you can see here, I've just sketched out the letter M and I, I think that's going to be nice. I'm, I'm wanting to fill this with lots of sweets. So I want there to be, you know, enough room. So I've done two inches wide on the, the sides here and I've brought everything down to the three inch middle marker there. So I'm now going to talk you through the scoring so what I would you can score some of this on the scoreboard and then the rest they're all going to be cut lines but I just think it just shows it a bit better when I lay it on the scoreboard here so you can score it two and four up to three inches so we're coming from the bottom here so I'm just going to score like so okay so I've got those in place and then I'm just going to put a little marker at two and four just at the top because then we can bring this down where we need it to be in a minute. You're going to do this twice or you might want to just do one and then sit it over this piece and draw around it, which is probably what I'll do. So then get rid of the scoreboard. Now I've got my ruler and metal stylus. So what I would do then is mark with a pencil at three inches just here. And again, down the bottom, so three inches. I'm just going to do a line right through the middle, just so I can make sure I'm keeping that all where it needs to be. Then you want to put a pencil mark at two, oops, a bit far down there. Yeah, two on each of these sides. So, and then just join that up. So now we're going to score from the markers that you would have put in place down to where it crosses over. Like I said, you can do any letter once you see how I'm doing this. It's quite easy to work out. And then I'm going to mark back along this side again. I'm going to mark at four and a half. And again, four and a half. Join this one up. And then you'll have the top of these score lines that you already did in your scoreboard. So you just want to join the ends of those again to now where this crosses over. And now we can cut that out. So you're going to cut down your score lines. Okay, so there is our letter M. So that will be your template. I've done mine straight into the colour card I'm going to need, but I used it on the back side, which has got the linen, it's more of a texture. That's going to be the front, and it's also going to be end up being on the back. So now I can just draw around this one. So I'm going to do it on the reverse again there. And then cut that one out as well. Okay, so once you've cut them, make sure they line up perfectly. And then I've cut these. There's a few more you'll need as well, but I'm doing it as I go because this is the only one I'm making. So you'll want to cut yourself a piece of two and a half. To be honest, the width of the 
well we'll just call it a box the letter box is up to you but you want to give yourself a half an inch tab either side so my width of the box is going to be one and a half and then my tabs to stick it on so if you want to do a three inch you know wide box then add half an inch to each side so you you basically need to add another inch and then just score half either side the length will be what i'm giving you what i give you now so keep the lengths the same but the width you can go wider if you want to pop even more you know bigger sweets and stuff in there so you want a piece that's two and a half by six and a half and you want to score at six along the long side and then at half an inch and at two like so the sweets that i'm putting in will fit within this one and a half wide because it's or it's two inches here as well i mean there's going to be a lot of space in this then you'll want this piece here which is two and a half by four and three quarters along the four and three quarter side you're going to score it two and a quarter and four and a quarter and then along the two and a half you're going to score at half and two this one i've already cut into because i just wanted to check it was all going to work so this is a piece of 11 and a quarter by two and a half along the 11 and a quarter side you're going to score at half an inch two and three quarters four and three quarters and ten and three quarters and then along the two and a half side you're going to score at half an inch and two okay fold and burnish all of the score lines and then how i cut this one is how you want to cut that one that you cut them all the same so if i just quickly show you this one here so just fold and burnish just imagine see this is much longer the end piece where you have your half inch tab you just want to remove the squares so that's what i did there remove the squares and then just take more of a wedge away so you start to create those tabs because you don't want to see any of this okay like so and because these are going to fold now in all the different kind of angles of the letter on each fold just again cut a wedge so each separate kind of piece is its own tab so again on the end there because these are all going to join together so just make sure your long piece looks like mine and then you know you've done it correctly just fold those so that's that one and this one here again that end just take that away completely choose one of your letters i'm going to start this is going to be the back start with the longest one and it's going to stick along here so this whole section here is the same height as our letter i'm going to use my construction glue here because i want to make sure this is nice and strong so usually i would use my quick grab glue on tabs but because this is going to be holding chocolates and stuff i just want it to be quite strong so i'm just gonna my glue all the way down the sides and then just line up that top score line just make sure it's all straight so that's going to be a tab to connect to the next piece and then this is going to now fold around and stick behind and then fold around and stick behind and you're following the shape of the letter And each piece has a tab to connect to the next piece. So I'm going to stick that one in there and then that one in there. Now this tab you want to fold so it's a valley. It's now going to start coming up this way. Okay, then you want to add glue onto that one. You're going to take this one and stick the open end there over the top. So just get this one kind of in place first. So if you want to add glue onto here, you can. I went to stick it down and then realised I've got to keep one bit open. So add your glue onto there and then just stick it onto that piece. Now 
Now, these two you want to keep open because that's going to be how we get into the box. So you still keep your sides on, but you're not going to add any glue now to that. So leave all of that. You can then take this one and you're going to stick it along the side there. So once we've connected it all, that's going to close and that will go inside like so. So what I would also suggest is just cut a little finger pull at the top of this one. I've got my little punch here. I'm just going to cut a little semicircle there like so. So now we'll be able to easily pop that out. So just make sure this is all secure. So that should all be drying nicely. Then you need a piece that is six and three quarters by two and a half. Again, score at half and two on that side. And then along the long side, you're gonna score at two and five. Then on this piece, which is two and a half by seven and a quarter, score the same again down here, so half an inch and two. But then you want to score along the long side at two, five and six and three quarters so these are the same it's just one is half an inch longer okay again fold and burnish and cut all of the wedges just as i showed you before okay so there's those two there you want to take the smaller one first and just make sure that you've got the two inch end. You'll know because it will be the same width as the bottom here. So if I turn it over, starting down this bottom right corner. So I'm gonna add my glue onto my tab and get that one connected first. And then I'm gonna add the glue to the tab and just wait for that to dry but you can see what I'm doing there you're just doing all what you've done already just all the way around until we connect it and then you're just going to stick the other letter onto the back so you can see now I'm working inside this corner and then this one's going to come up like so It's good to do it this way because you can push out, you can see where the bottom of the letter is. So you can just push the card out to where you need it. And then add your glue. All along that one. And that one's gonna go under. So now we're coming up inside the letter. I mean, there's no reason if you want to, you could make that open like that end. You've seen how I done it. So it's very easy if you want to be able to drop the sweets in both. But I'm going to shake them all around so they get right down here. So I think it's a bit fun then if someone's got that one chocolate left and they're trying to shake it to get it out. And then I'm just going to get in there with the glue. And then... Follow the shape again. Then you're going to take this one and you're going to join this end to the end of here. And you'll see you've got your tab already here, which is going to join up that end there. Because that's your last three sides. So I think with this one, I'm going to stick this end tab and then this side one. So I think it's a bit easier to get those kind of both in at the same time. So just keep it to the shape of the letter. And make sure where you've cut your wedges, if you haven't cut it at enough of an angle, you might have to cut it in a bit more so it doesn't hit against the next piece there. Can you see they sit across each other? Okay, this is a better example. Can you see there? See, that's going to hang out. So I need to cut that at more of an angle. So now when that, when the M goes on top, so it doesn't overhang. 
doesn't matter with all of these ones it's just actually that point there all the rest will be fine and then if i flip it over it's a bit easier to add the glue to this one it's a little bit fiddly but it's actually quite fun to do and then just bring this one down to be honest you could probably do all of this all in one go stick that one and the glue on that one get that in and get that one on there as well that way you've got that nice right angle and I mean don't worry like mine's not quite down to that corner there but that's what you're seeing you've got a nice neat letter you can hide you know all of those bits of the box the, the corners and stuff and it's obviously it stands up so i'm going to just go in if you use your ruler something with a point that'll help you push it down and get it right into the corners there of the letter and then what i'm going to do is use my quick grab glue and just go around and just tack down all of these corners it's just going to help when you go to stick the other letter on top. So make sure this is folded out so you don't accidentally add your glue to it. But now you want to add your glue onto all of these sides so that your other letter will fit over the top there. Okay, and then I think I'm going to start down the bottom and then just push everything else into place. Okay, so that's all stuck down. So I just want to talk you through your template for your mat layer. Okay, you might not want to do this. You might just stamp over your cardstock. You might have already done this in a patterned card. So I've already laid this one out here. So you want to cut yourself a piece of five and three quarters squared and you want to mark at one and three quarters here and then mark in one and three quarters here. Do the same at the bottom and join those marks up so you can see my pencil line there. You also then want to mark halfway which is two and seven eighths and again at the bottom two and seven eighths and join that up. So you've got these three lines here. You then want to come down here on that middle one at two and a quarter and then you can just draw a pencil line down to that so you're going to be cutting that section away here you want to mark up on each of these outer ones at three and three eighths so three and three eighths I've marked there and three and three eighths I've marked there and then on this center one I've come up one and three quarters you then want to come down from those markers to that one and then you're going to cut all of that away when you cut that all away, you'll then have your template and then that's what I've used on my pattern paper here and I've just drawn around it. So I'm now going to cut that out. You want to do that twice and then you can stick it onto your letter box. Okay, so I've stuck that down on both sides and then I filled it up with the 200 gram box of the Lindor. These are the strawberries and cream. It fits them perfectly. I mean, you could even still get a few more on there. But I can fill them all up there. Probably could get one more up in there, but I was just shaking it around. But you can see you get loads in there. It's such a nice way to, you know, gift some chocolates. But if you also have got like the small balls of the Lindor, you could get tons of those in there. And then if you're going to do this for like Easter, you know, mini little Easter eggs and things like that would fit in there as well. And obviously lots of other sweets as well. I know if I filled that with Werther's Originals, my nan would love it. So, but that's ready there. Then I've got all my mats and layers here. So again, this is all optional, but I've got two pieces of one and a quarter by five and three quarters. And they're going to go, if I lie this down, they're going to go on each of the sides here. So I'll just sit those
is and they're going to go inside here because you'll kind of see those sides i'm not going to mat and layer these sides because you don't see them at all but if you want to just drop your measure the space and then just drop it down by a quarter of an inch on each side then these pieces are one and a quarter by two and they're to go in that section and then i've got these two pieces and i've done the direction so it's facing me so it's along the length ways so that's one and three quarters by one and a quarter and they're going to go on the tops like so and if you want to double that size and you want to you know cover the bottom that's just going to give it some more strength i'm going to get that all stuck down and then i've got some flowers here and i've just cut these using my i've used the funky florals die set I've just taken this one here and the leaves i'm not sure i might not you know use them all but i've stamped my sentiment and heat embossed it so it says happy mother's day that's from the apple blossom springtime sentiments this was from last year so i don't know if that one's still available but it's going to be probably there i'll pop it up on some foam it's probably off to the right and then you know have a couple of maybe have three flowers really i like having the white in there maybe something like that so i want you to see that it's an m shape because if you go a bit too heavy with the decoration you might start actually taking away the shape you can see once you start adding the green in and stuff so i think i'm going to keep it quite centered there i'm going to get that all stuck down and then i'll show you it when it's all finished Okay, so that's all stuck down. I think it looks so pretty, but it's bugging me that this keeps popping up or it's just not in very well. And I think that's because I've cut too much of a wedge off here. If you've followed me for a while, I always say, make sure you take a little bit off because you want it to, you know, kind of hold itself in there. But this one's not doing that. So a quick way to rectify that, if you've ever done it, is just cut yourself another piece that size. So, you know, but keep it square. Don't cut anything off it like I have on that one. And I'm going to pop it back over the top. You could pop it underneath if you want, but I think it's better to put it back over the top. Because again, you're not going to see this. And it just gives you back that width that you need. And then you can try it. And if you need to cut a little bit away, you can. I can feel already. Yeah, it holds. But it's not going to pop out now. It's just sitting in there. So it just gives you back what you've cut away. So thank you for watching today. I hope you can take the process of me making this particular letter and use it on other letters. I think the six by six size is a nice starting point and then you can you know, go from there. And like I said at the beginning, if you've got your digital cutting machines and stuff like that, then it's going to be really easy. But if you just do it piece by piece, it's pretty straightforward to put together and a really nice way to personalise, you know, any kind of hampers table settings and things like that and like i said i think it's lovely for christmas as well with merry christmas on there so i'll link everything that i've used as always in the description box below if you've enjoyed today's tutorial you might want to check out some other ones that are popping up now and watch those next and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and then click the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time i upload something new see you all again soon bye